today I'm going to show you how to make something awesome using the canvas that you can get super cheap at Michael's right now. Halloween is my favorite holiday and I found this really cool idea that was off Pinterest. I'll post something right here for it. So the materials that you are going to need to complete this project are um, a 12 by 12 white plain canvas. Um, any type of cardstock paper. Also, you are going to need some a cutting mat. It doesn't really matter what kind. This one is uh, it's pretty cool because you can actually peel off. Okay, maybe you can peel this back. It's actually kind of sticky, so whatever you put on it, it actually holds it really well. An X-Acto knife, um, which it doesn't really matter what kind you get. Craft Bond Glue. Since I'm going to be doing a Halloween themed um, artwork, um, I'm using these orange lights that I got at Walmart and you can see the price at $3.47 for cheap. It's just had for probably about two years that I just reuse every year. So, alright, well those are the materials that are needed and let's get started. Okay, so first off you are going to want to choose which cardstock you want to use and like I said the ones that I'm using are um, different designs on them so it's up to you on like what kind you get which I'm actually thinking about doing this one it seems pretty simple so well, this is the cardstock that I'm deciding to use you know it's cardstock because it makes that really cool noise all right so that's all of that that you need so you can just sit this aside then what you're going to do or want to do is grab your um, mat cover thing and like I said mine has this clear sheet over it um, if you want you can reuse it and then you're going to stick this onto this like I said this is sticky so stuck on there so okay so this is pretty cool I've never actually used this kind before that actually like has the sticky surface so it's pretty awesome so, what I'm going to start doing is cutting along the outside of the bat and I'm going to completely cut out the bat Once you have all that glued, also the reason why I left this place blank is because I know that's where this is going to go. That's why I went ahead and glued just around the edges of that. Okay, so now that this is glued on, I mean, you see that, you know, there's still a little bit of flappage in the back, which is fine. It's It'll actually give like a cooler effect when I visit it up. So you're gonna glue the bat that you cut out onto here. So you gotta cover it with glue. And since this one is kind of looks like it's going off in this direction, I'm gonna make this one go that direction. This is what you have, or what you should have. All right, now what you're gonna do is cut this extra flap that you have that's from the original paper. Now that this is ready, now flip it over and we're gonna start 
putting lights back here. Before you start unwinding these, you want to make sure that you plug them in and make sure that they work. So, since this is the end that has the plug into the wall, you want to work with the opposite end first. Since those are in, okay, so, which is one thing I totally forgot to mention. You are gonna have to put a bolt, like another piece of paper back here or, you know, another card stock. And it's okay if it rips, it's just going to cover the back of it anyway. Okay, so get out your stapler. Um, this one's like an old one, so you can like pull it open. And then, so what are you gonna do? gonna make sure you are squared up and since there's wood on here and you know there's wood you can just kind of go along and staple the edges so now you, you have the back is decorated and the front so now let's go and plug it in and see what it looks like So you can move the lights around, but I think it looks cool. It also makes it look like there's a cloud or something in the background. But then you can just like hang these on your wall at nighttime. So it's like little nighttime lamps. So this is what the final product looks like in the back. And you do have the cable that hangs out the side. And you, if you want, you can also like put ribbon or you can paint the side black or purple or you know whatever color Halloween. -y. Since this is a Halloween themed light, um, I'll probably end up putting like some Halloween ribbon on the side just to give it, you know, that way it's not white and it just looks kind of like unfinished. Um, I just don't have any at the moment, so I'll probably get some later and do it. Also, um, altogether, this project probably costs. Like with all the material, probably ten dollars. But um, I know a lot of you out there probably already have a lot of this material on hand already, like an exacto knife. Like I didn't have an exacto knife, so I did have to go and buy one. This one in particular, um, I did get from Michaels, which every actually all the material that I showed you today I did get from Michaels. Um, this one was six dollars, but it did come with um, here it goes with four extra blades that's the only reason why i got this one instead that way it'll be a little while before i have to buy blades for it um this big book of papers which has the 48 sheets in it um this was 17 dollars so yes this is a lot of money but i really wanted halloween themed paper and they didn't have individual like cardstock paper so i just really liked this one a lot it had a lot of different themes in it so this one was a little i mean i say you know all together is like ten dollars to make the project but i know a lot of y'all have this stuff on hand already so and then also i didn't have the cutting mat so i did buy that and also lights i have so many lights so that's upside down so i mean if you don't have any Honestly, I think if you have LED lights, they would work a lot better. That way they don't warm up as fast. Because with these ones, um, I'm probably not gonna be able to keep it on like all night long or you know, maybe only a couple hours because it'll probably get a little warm for my liking. So if I go out and shopping again for Halloween lights, I will probably get at least, you know, a couple boxes of the LED ones just for these projects in particular so they don't get too hot. Um, I hope you really enjoyed watching this project. And again, this was a simple version. Um, I will be doing a couple others um, that are a little bit more intricate in detail and will take more time. This one, I mean, you just want to make sure you take your time cutting it out. That way it looks like the shape that you're trying to cut. Uh, I need the bat. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, check back in later. Thanks, guys.